You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today because I am going to become a family gaming champion with the next Happy Meal toy set for 2018. And it is all Hasbro games from Hasbro Gaming. And as I was looking at these, I was thinking to myself, you know, I have all of these games in their original size, not these miniature ones. Now I can add this to my collection. All right, so if you're new to Lucky Penny Shop, I like to open up each one, play with each one. But first, I always like to check out the Happy Meal box that came out with the set. So let's do that. All right, here we go. So the box is an interesting color. It's like a tealish with green stripes in the background. It says Hasbro Gaming become a family gaming champion. Now, you're probably wondering yourself, maybe not, why is he showing us the Happy Meal box? Well, I've been doing that for five years, and then I've shown every set going way back in my collection with the either the Happy Meal box or the Happy Meal bag. That's part of history, and I like to show it if I have it. So get in the game with Gogurt is the panel to the left, and then there's some challenge yourself there. It says, when playing your Happy Meal game, give yourself an extra challenge. Pick one from the choices below, so there's the Hungry Hippo guy. Each time you take a turn, say a random fact about yourself. Spin on the spot before each turn. Put, put pat your head while it's your turn. Hop on one foot until it's your turn. Okay, and then it shows all the logos of the games that are in this collection. There's the red panel with the smiley. There's a word find there. And the McPlay up on the final side, the word find, you're trying to find thanks, family, together, close hugs, and RMHC. All right, so let's see. Last thing to check, then, is the toy. Oh, there's the answer. The toy for the next round. Hmm. It's not on the box. They usually have it. All right. So, let's not worry about it. All right, let's check out the mini games. All right, here we go, Connect Four. I have a few versions of Connect Four. This one's pretty neat though. It has a little McDonald's logo, like the Happy Meal box and some eyes from the Mr. Happy McDonald's guy. And that's really it. That is toy number one in this set. Let us open the bag. I've had these toys for about four or five days, so I'm just getting to them now. I do apologize that I didn't get to them sooner. I know there's a lot of Happy Meal fans out there. All right, there's the base, okay. So that snaps into that. Let's see if they give you instructions on all that. Okay, can I, oh, there we are. Okay, so yes, that, hey, that's a pretty cute little game there. If Pete gets stuck, store pieces inside. Okay, so they want you to storm in here. And if Pete gets up, remove base to empty game pieces. The fun continues in the McPlay. Each player selects a game piece color. Okay, yellow or blue, and youngest player goes first. Players take turns dropping game pieces into place. All right. What's the other strip for? Is that the little... Oh, oh, that's it, That's your unsticker. I was wondering what the longer one was like. Hmm. So you use this to kind of push down just in case because it is paper so here let me just drop a few in there so now you see it's got a nice plastic front so you can't touch the little blue pieces it says connect four on the back let me do a little camera angle change here because it looks better like that all right so that is the game without an opponent i can't play really the way it should be played and let's see and then these Okay, they all come out when you are done. All right, that is game number one. Connect four, very interesting, I like it. Okay, let's move on now. I have to continue on. Sorry to say, I can't just hang out and play, play, play. All right, so the next one is the Hungry Hippo. Now, I've had a bunch of different Hungry Hippos and versions and assorted games in my collection over the years. I have another miniature one like this, which gets a lot of views, or did it one time. Hungry Hungry Hippos. Let's check it out. All right. 
right, so you get this nice card with it. Notice they don't have the little round discs like they had for pretty much the last year or so. Two players flick all the balls into the playfield by pressing the buttons on the sides of the game. When all the balls are on the playfield, the two players say, ready, set, go, and begin pressing the levers on the hippos to try to eat up the most balls. The player that eats up the most balls wins. If the game ends in a tie, the player that ate up the yellow ball wins. Okay, and then it doesn't look like there is any kind of um, put together things you need to do. You gotta get these. I think it'd be easier just to almost a couple more just to do this. Okay, there you go. Then you're kind of you know the game, right? Okay, and you got the little Happy Meal box guy on one side, and it says "Hungry, Hungry Hippos" on the other side. Well, you flick them over, they almost go. Completely to the other side. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get a top-down view of hungry, hungry hippos. Here we go. My hippos aren't eating much. This guy is winning for sure. All right, that is game number two. Pretty exciting, pretty exciting. I might have to get an opponent here at the end and play all these with an opponent. Number three is Pie Face. Now, I've recently played this game on video. This is one of their newer games, I guess you can say. So they didn't just go with all their classic games. Okay. Pretty neat. The Happy Meal guy is the face. Okay. And then his mouth opens and closes when you do. Hey, wait, wait, wait. All right, here we go. Let's see. Nice big bags, everything in. This is a little fold up rolling dice, it looks like. Oh, yeah, that looks like it's going to be fun to do. Let's do it. Hey. If I look back over the years, all the different folding things I've done. There's a couple I never finished. One was that plane. Do you remember that plane? I still have it. It's still in my storage. I look at it and I see it every couple days. And I think to myself, oh, I got to finish that. All right, uh, here we go. Set up the game by lowering Happy's hand until it clicks. Okay. Players take turns rolling the die and turning the knob on the side of the game. The amount of time shown on the, ha on the die. If Happy's hand does not move, then the player is safe and it's in the next player's turn. If Happy's hand swings up towards Happy, then that player is out. Reset Happy's hand by pushing it down and turning it up. The last player to get out is the winner. All right, here we go. Number of turns. Six. Or nine. Yeah. <laughs> Six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Ooh. Let me get you in there. Three. One, two, Oh, yes, he just got pie-faced. Poor guy. I can't believe that happened. All right, so now I need to get to number four. Here we go. The Guess Who game. Oh, man, Guess Who's? I got a bunch of different Guess Who's. Let's see what this one is all about. Okay, ooh, okay. Here's your guess who sheets. There are two. Nope, there's, this kind of folds to this. And then this one folds to this. So they had to fold them to put them in there. And then there's all the different guess who characters. Okay. All right, so what they want you to do is take all of these and fold them. It looks like to me. Oh, place them in. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, there we go. There's two game boards, your yellow game board, and then your red. And then you're putting all of your associated colors, like the yellows, there. Okay. Guess who? So then you're going to say, 
Is he a red head? Yeah, of course. Is he spinning a hoop? This one could be pretty challenging. Is he fishing? Hmm. What are you guessing here? Is he wearing a hat? Those are the standard ones. Does he have blue eyes or brown eyes? See, all of those aren't in here. So what you're guessing is going to be pretty hard. Divide the cards into two decks, one red and one yellow. Each player takes a card tray, matching deck, then selects any happy card from their deck to put it in the first slot of their tray. This is the happy card. The other player must guess. The rest of the cards are placed in the longer slots on the board. These cards are used to help guess which happy the other player has selected. Players take turns asking yes or no questions about the other player's happy card, or uh, uh, what the other player's happy card looks like, and removing the cards that don't match the description the first player to correctly guess the other player's happy card wins. So you know what you have here. So I guess you can say, does he have a purple hoop? And you're going to say no. You're going to pull it and so on and so forth until you uh, guess the correct one. That's pretty neat. So both have the same set of pictures. So at least I can show that to you. I ripped the other ones apart. And let me move on. All right, the next one is the Bop It. And if you see a little edit there, that's because I had to make a change. You may see one more on the next scene. But I had to grab one of my Bop It's and redo this section because, well, I'll explain it to you in just a second. All right, so this is number five, Bop It. Now, I was looking at this, and this would intrigue me. It said Switch It. And the two Bop It's I have, one I picked up for a buck. I'll show you that one. And one I got for free because the switch it, but it's flick it, is broken. All right, so here is, well, let me get that out of the bag. There is uh, the bop it, all right. And then here is uh, the dice, or the die. And then here is the instructions. There's the back. i got to fold this and put it together. Here's all your different moves. And then let's see. One player, roll the die and do the action. It says, twist it, spin it, switch it, pull it. Roll the die again and do the first action followed by the new action. If you're all happy on the die, let's see. Okay, there is happy. What happens when you roll happy? Uh, if, you, oh, if you roll happy on the die, you can pick any action, okay? If you roll bop it on the die, Choose any two actions to add. Keep rolling the die and adding actions. See how many you can get in a row before making a mistake. Two to four players. There's some options there. All right, let's put this together. Simple enough. Let's do this first. A. Okay. And then B. And then C. But before I begin, I will show you now. I have the Boppet Extreme. This one is the broken one. Now, this one here, I thought was closer to this one, but then I realized it's not. The Boppet XT, which is very much the same, has the same colors as this one. Now, I am going to show you that one. It's not working, and I'll show you why. The Flick It, both say Flick It. Except this one says switch it, which I have never seen. I don't know. Box box. Pull it. Oh, Next now come on. Yeah. Maybe my hand was too far away. Now let's do that again. Beep bop. Box bop. Solo. Twist it. Oh man, I am really slow. Hold on a second. Let me do this one again. Here we go. Twist it. See, that one's broken. That one is loose. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this one. All right, maybe I'll put new batteries in it. But you get the idea. Here, well, let me show you this one. This one works better. Okay. Okay, so those are the moves we wanted. So now with this, since it's small, as you can see, you have spin it, switch it, pull it, makes a little sound, and twist it. There's no bop it. Remember now, if I do a bop it, I got to do two. If I get happy, 
I got to do one, right? You can pick any action. Here we go. Okay, so I got to pop it. So I got to pick two moves. I will do pull it, twist it. Well, let me roll that a little bit better. Let me roll that in the camera. So pull it, twist it, pull it. Pull it, twist it, pull it, switch it. Pull it, twist it, pull it, twist it, pull it, switch it, spin it. Okay, that's as far as I'm going. I already forgot it. All right, so that pretty much is the bop it. So let me move on to the next one. You're going to see a little quick edit here, and I'll continue on with the video. All right, number six. Numero six is trouble. I've had, I know I have the Star Wars trouble. I have a couple of other troubles. Some even older troubles. This one looks to be a little bit more involved than the other games because you now have this big game board. Okay, that's kind of nice. Very reminiscent of the original game. I like that. You're putting this in here. Although this goes around at first, it feels like it doesn't want to fit. Let me do it that way. There we go. And here's your little pieces, and then your, uh, that's pretty cute, huh? Cute little popper there. Oh, you take them all apart, store pieces inside. Oh, this comes apart. It looks like this does, oh, just pulls apart. Interesting. Cool. Here's the game. Each player chooses a color and puts their piece in the matching. Colored corner spots on the game board. Players take turns pressing down on the pop -a to roll the die. If a player rolls happy on the die, they get to move one of their colored pieces up onto the board. Where's he at? There he is. There he is. See him? Can you see that in there? Okay, one of their color piece up onto the board. Once a player has a piece on the board, rolling a number lets them move the piece around the board up. Okay, so you keep going until you get happy. Happy lets you bring a game token piece out on the board. Then you can start moving that piece around the board and up into the home area, which is here. Okay, home, so you got to go all the way around. If a player lands on the same space, oh wait, happy again lets the player either move another one of their... Rolling happy again lets the player either move another one of their color pieces up onto the board or move any piece already on the board to the next happy spot. If a player lands on the same space as another player's game piece, then the other player must return to the start. The goal is to get all three pieces around the board and into the matching colored home spaces. The first player to get all their pieces home wins. I like that one. I just like the overall size of that one. Okay, number seven. This is a mouse trap. Now, this is one game that eludes me. I've seen so many. I've had many, but very few are complete. I actually have one not too far from me right now that I found, but it's missing a couple pieces. It seems to be the case. Okay, let's see. Okay, set up. Oh, so you're just flicking, flicking. One. Hold this up. Two. Stack. Then what? Let's see. Set up the game by lifting and holding the trap up. One player stacks the mouse pieces on Happy's hands. Okay, there's a lot of them. That's not easy to do. In the order they want. Okay. Carefully release the trap as it sets. Oh, it's almost like a, a Jenga game. You're gonna have to player takes turn you're removing one mouse piece from the stack. If the trap does not fall down, the next player takes a turn. Players continue taking turns removing pieces until the trap falls. If the trap falls down on a player's turn, that player is out and needs to set up the stack to the next round. The game continues until one player is left. The last player left wins. I didn't stack it too well. I will adjust my stack. It's putting outward pressure. I just feel it. Ooh, okay, it didn't officially fall, I guess, but I knocked some over. A little challenging on that one. You gotta make sure the stack, that this is not pushing on that outside, on the inner edge. You know what I mean? 
I think if this, the, the way it is, that's hard to stack. Let's do it one more time. These have little mice on them. They're all different positions. Let's see, you got two, you got a red and a blue that are the same. These guys are the same. Different mouths. So this guy's the same, okay? This one is the same, so you have two. You have the colors all match. Go figure. I think you know what I'm trying to say. Ooh, I took two. Ooh. Okay, I think you get it. All right, last but not least is Battleship. <sighs> Battleship. I've done, I think, out of all these games here, more Battleship videos than any other game because I was interested in the history on Battleship. Just looking at all the different electronic versions, I can't tell you how many I have. Maybe 10 or 12 different versions of Battleship. Never before shown on video. Oh, cool. Let's see. Do we get little, oh, little presents inside? Okay. Oh, so each little game piece, look, has got different ship positions. So you're going to take your little game piece and you're going to say A1 hit. And then you're going to mark it. Oh, that's cool. Each player takes a blank sheet, a blank game sheet, and a game sheet with printed ships. I didn't see the blank ones. Oh, I see. It's blank on this side. The player each hang up their blank sheet and place their game sheets with printed ships in the tray in front of them. Okay, so you're going to take one this way. There's little, like, notches in there, it looks like. You're hanging it right on the... Little notches, see that in there? Okay. And then you're recording what your players take turns guessing coordinates for the other player's ships. For example, A5. And sharing the pencil to mark on the game sheets. If it's a hit with an X or a miss with an O, when all the circles on a ship have been hit, then that ship is sunk. A player wins when they sink all of their opponent's battleships. So you're just keeping track up there and down there what you're calling and what they're doing. You sunk my battleship, right? Pretty neat little game. All of them are pretty neat. All right, let me gather them all up here, collect it all, put them all out in one nice little display. All right, here you go. I've got to say, hmm, my favorite. I don't know. I think i got to go with the trouble. I think this is really reminiscent of an original game and more realistic to original game in regards to play. You know what I'm trying to say? But overall, they're pretty cool, and it's nice to add them to my collection. They barely fit on my spinner, so I had to rework it to get them all to fit. And then I did add these in here so you could see what they look like. And then the trouble, I didn't notice originally, there is a little black divot there that fits into the yellow side of the game board. And that's it, 2018, the Hasbro Gaming collection from mcdonald's happy meal and thanks for watching check in at the description for more information on other videos i'll have a playlist down there and then maybe a little few thoughts i have if i do end up playing these i'll put them down there in the description and thanks for watching later if you're looking for the item you just saw in the video click here watch more videos by clicking here don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up hey lps dave What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.